Anyway, um, welcome to the stream. Jumping back into Uncharted 3. Uh, this is, if you're asking from what game, it's from uh, Final Fantasy 14. Oh, look how bad dog you look. What a guilty boy you are. Of course he is, because he's a bad boy. Um, we're about to start a fight scene, so I'll see if I can ramble over it about the uh, the day. Of course he was. The, the the how else are they gonna create tension? They have to capture either one of your party members or your boyfriend, or in this case, both, I guess. I'll just grab this guy here. Okay. Um. So yeah, it's been an interesting, eventful weekend. Um. We, uh, we clean stalls sort of both days, but uh, what I mean by that is, um, we, we did clean stalls, uh, Saturday, but it was only like a partial stall cleaning. Uh, we, we just did about two thirds of the barn. Some other girl who just recently got a new, another horse on top of the one she already has, um, wanted to clean. I did not mean to punch you. I wanted to execute you. But okay. Um. It's over. All right. I guess we are just starting to fight. I figured how to fight. Crap! I've been playing the other games too much. Um. Anyways, so she's she's been wanting to make a little extra. Um. You don't really make money when you clean the stalls, but rather you get money taken off your board. Um. So because she suddenly has another horse, she wants to make up for it however she can. And uh, she started. Uh, cleaning more days than usual. So anyway, she wanted to clean part of the, um, did I really just start right in the middle of the fight? Yep. She wanted to clean part of the barn to get a few more dollars off her monthly board. So anyway, um, oh my God, Cotter, lie down. Uh, so yeah, so Saturday we only had to clean part of the barn, which is good because it was like 90 degrees. It was ridiculously hot. Um, You guys are being assholes. Um, and then uh, and then we rode. Um, sorry, I, I thought I could talk to this but clearly. It's not happening. Uh, anyways, so after we were done cleaning, we, we took the horses out to the field for a nice little romp in the uh, corn. Um, Zara very much enjoyed it. She, she was very fast, despite her... Um, she's still getting used to her horseshoes. So I'm trying to remember if, we have, if I even had those on last stream. So she, she did get her new horseshoes on. Um, level, level 62, saving a quit, kitten. That does sound like a level 62 quest. Uh, so yeah, so she's she's kind of getting used to the fact she's wearing horseshoes. She's never had to wear them before. Uh, or at least not that I'm aware of. I don't know what she did for her, her entire life. She's 21 years old. Um, but she still felt really good. So I wanted to give her a chance to go run around like an idiot. Which we did. She had a blast. Um... And, uh, bam. Oh, there you fuckers are. I've never actually seen you appear because I've always been running away and hiding from you. Uh, anyway, so yeah, we, uh, we had a nice, nice, good, busy Saturday. Uh, today was interesting for other reasons. Um, so I think I mentioned in the server that I found my spirit animal at the barn. Um, there's an angry, small horse whose name is Marky. Um, she is, she is, uh, she's been with the barn for a long time. She's probably, what, 18, 19? Close to 20? Yeah. She might be, old. she's older. Um, and uh, she, she, she spends half of the year at another barn um, because they let her run around in the, in the pasture all winter, I think. Um, but in the summertime, she comes back to her home barn, which is, you know, the one we go to. Anyways, today she was apparently considerably in heat, um, despite the fact that she's almost 20. Hey, it's Sully's car, the old car. Um, and normally, when a, when a mare is in heat, that it just means they kind of, uh, they, they spend more time than usual around the males. Um, they'll, they'll show them their butts, which, you know, obviously they're showing them their vaginas. But, um... But, but they'll usually uh, kind of stand in front of them and, and do the whole, here's my butt, take a look at it. And then uh, sometimes they'll pee a little bit too. 
Um, anyways, that's normal. So that's something that most mares do. Well, uh, Marky, uh, she was bad enough that apparently overnight she got the um, small horse that was next to her to break down the fence and come uh, come over so he could mount her. <laughs> and that's actually how we found them this morning. Um, Zara was taking some horses out, and I happened to look out at the same time that he did. And, um, and yeah, the, that little horse was just right up on her back. And she was just cool as a cucumber, just kind of hanging out. You know, for the gift, boys. apparently she appreciated it. My theory is that um, she actually broke through her herself because she needed that dick. Uh, and that's and normally if the story would end there, it's like okay, well that's kind of sounds like a pony spirit animal. Um, no, it gets better. We um, we moved her out to where she is supposed to go outside. Um, there's a couple of horses that she goes with. And as a side note, every horse at the barn is a gelding. Um, none of them have balls. So normally geldings don't get excited and try to mount mares. It's it, unless they were recently uh, destallioned. <laughs> if they had their balls recently removed, then they're a little bit more prone to it. Most of the ones at the barn, however, have been geldings for a long time. So normally when you have a mare in heat, it's not a huge deal. She kind of does her thing and rubs up on dudes. But the dudes are like, yeah, whatever, we don't have balls, we don't care. Marky, however, is apparently uh, super powered in her sex drive. Because um, first she she got the, uh, the, the thoroughbreds that she hangs out with all riled up. I have never seen either one of them um, showing any kind of uh, a attention for a female, to put it lightly. Uh, so it, it was very weird to suddenly see horse penises from those two. Um, and then we realized only one of them was trying to bang her. The other one, hilariously enough, was apparently still seeing her as a little sister and kept chasing the first one away. Uh, his name is Shark and the other one's name is, is Buff. Um, yeah, so <laughs> so so we, we watched that for a little bit and then we were like, okay, one of the two guys is going to get hurt because they're going to end up fighting each other over this <laughs> little sassy mare who's just wandering around between them and causing all kinds of trouble. Uh, so we ended up um, moving her inside to one of the paddocks instead of being out in the field. Um, well, we put her next to two older horses, probably two of the oldest geldings in the barn. And within 10 minutes, she had uh, one of them all riled up and like rubbing against the fence and trying to get her through the fence. The oldest, oldest horses at the barn. So we watched it for a little while and we were like, yeah, maybe they'll get over it. No, no, they they most certainly did not um, stop. And we were worried about, again, one of the old dudes hurting each other, trying to get to her on the other side. So we finally had to segregate her out completely by herself, surrounded only by other mares. So, yeah, I could relate, though. I'd tear down some electric fence to get a good wiener. And yeah, her name's Marky, but... Um, I, I think it's short for Marky Hiko. That's uh, that's my theory anyway. Anyway, we're uh, sorry I'm late. We're joining Sully. We got separated. If you guys remember last week, we ended the uh, stream by me crawling through a well and going underground. Um, and now we are joined back up with Sully, uh, who is in a courtyard getting shot at a lot. So we can get back to things now here. Ah, uh, sorry, shoe. Didn't get that lucky 160 tonight. Well, thank you, though. I will have so much fun. At my uh, favorite of the series. Um, I did also finish uh, the fourth game on Crushing. And I've probably mentioned this before. But the fourth game does not have Brutal Mode. That was some... Oh my god, caught her. I'm going to die because of you, dog. <sighs> wow. Thanks, dog. He, he put his head on the keyboard. A goddamn army. Anyways, um, the, the, the fourth game doesn't have brutal difficulty because that's something they added specifically to the remix. Um, so yeah, I did not have to do that on brutal at least. But I guess to make up for it, they made crushing super, super difficult. Um, so uh, it was quite a struggle. But I did finally finish that game on Crushing, and now I am playing the last of the Uncharted games um, on Crushing, which is the girl game, which I'm very excited about. I really like that game, too. And uh, and you get to play as girls. 
instead of the usual boy party. So what I'm waiting to have... Well, actually, I won't throw grenades by accident because it's it's the reverse controls. So at least I won't be flinging grenades. But it probably means that I'll get back. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it means I'll go back to playing the fourth game. Or rather, the fourth and a half game. And fling all my grenades. Yeah, I don't want to give away too much about the very last game. Um, that actually might, oof, might be one of the games that most of you haven't seen. I know several people here have seen a few of the Uncharted games before, um, but that one was fairly new. Ooh, fuck, 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 fuck that. Oh, this is all one? Of course it is. Apparently they can't shoot me until they get to the top of the stairs, which is fine. Hi, Sally. Oh. How's it going? Rude. Where the hell do you think they found us? They must have followed us. It's the only way. Yeah, they must have followed us through... Sally, I need you to move. Through various airlines and... I don't know if this game had smartphones yet. You a chode, you dick chode. Wow. I know, right? Sure. At least they don't have helmets. The friggin' fourth and fourth and a half game have everyone's got armor and helmets. Hey, wait, are you making fun of the way I talk? No. Do you want me to tell everyone about your nachos? <laughs> we had pizza and nachos tonight, you guys. It was good. <laughs> so, uh, so normally I make the nachos. Um, and uh, Zare made them this time. And he put them in the oven for, for the same amount of time as the pizza. Which was a 19 minute frozen pizza. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever made nachos in the oven properly. Um, but 19 minutes is admittedly a little long. <laughs> they were still good. I still ate them. Not terrible. You didn't have to. I don't mind burned cheese. The cheese was black. <laughs> it was 100% black. <laughs> But it's still no. There was there was a few pieces. The, the heavier pieces of cheese, ironically, or I guess not ironically. I guess it makes sense. But yeah, the yeah. thicker the thicker chunks of cheese were still uh, just like really really dark. <laughs> they weren't quite black. <laughs> I didn't mind though. And, and 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 that's the thing. The chips themselves were actually okay. Uh, none of the chips tasted burned, which I hate the taste of a burned chip more than burned cheese. I don't mind burned cheese. But a burned chip is pretty grody. Well, yeah, it just tastes like crispier cheese to me. Uh, this fight on uh, on brutal mode um, took me quite a few tries. As you can see, the, the checkpoint on this one's pretty far away. Um, I'm gonna have to run in to get more ammo. Oh wait, there's a revolver. Oh, 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 oh. That's who killed me, that guy up there with the boom boom gun. That's the technical term for anyone who's curious. Apparently I can't hit him with my boom boom. Oh, I keep forgetting. Can throw grenades. My favorite part of the game and I'm forgetting about it because... Uh, Tower's right there. Because they took that ability away in the fourth game. Sadly. Let's see. Did you have a... No. None of you had a big boy gun. Oh, a grenade though. I'll take a grenade. Alright, let's get a pistol because I need more bullets for the next part.
Thank you. That'll do. I'm trying to think of anything else noteworthy happened this week. Really, the the whore horse today was pretty much the highlight. Horse. The term finally has application other than me. I guess beating Uncharted 4 on crushing was a pretty big thing for me. Just because those last few chapters are Come on, Sully, give me some quite difficile. But, oh, Sully, the hell are you? There you are. Come on, buddy. Need your, need your old man strength. All right. Well, which way now? I'm not really sure. Why don't we try going down? I almost died there. Hey, look at this. Look at this skeleton. What the hell? It's one of Talbot's men. It was? But that's impossible. They just got here. Yeah, but what could have happened to him? Dun dun no dun. I sure as hell don't like it. That's probably nothing. He probably just had zombie disease. Does look like a zombie. He doesn't even have any blood left. Look at this fucking sunbeam, y'all. Dang. Anyway, Chateau is gorgeous. Let's go see more of it. Chu can't see it tonight, though. She didn't, or I guess I didn't get the lucky Twitch settings. Hey. But I will be uploading this. Um, I'm actually going to be uploading all the Uncharted games. I've just been really, really lazy about editing because I've been so goddamn busy with a million other things. But uh, yeah, she's gonna finish. She's gonna finish Bayonetta two pretty soon, so I gotta start uploading Uncharted one. Any notes about this? Let me check. All right, let's find the answer to this puzzle. Also, see if there's any new doodles from our boy Nathan Drake. Alright, France. We need the France section. There we go. Alright, so. 4 pi, 3x, 4 dick chairs, 2x, 3 pi. I'm going to forget that. Let's try and remember it together. 4 pi, 3x, 4 dick chair. Let's start there. Maybe you got to walk across them in a certain order. Girl, I know. Alright, so we need 4 pies and then 3x's. And then some dick chairs. So one, two, three, four, three X's, four dick chairs, two X's, three pies. What? Awesome. That's it. You did it. I did all by myself. As if a chateau in the middle of France wasn't enough, this chateau also has a fucking underground stone dungeon. Want to give us some light? Sure. See, this is why you always bring a smoker with you when you're an adventurer. Or I guess Drake could just be smart and buy his own lighter. Oh. Never. Looks like some sort of laboratory. Otherwise, he have, we he wouldn't have an excuse for Sully to come along, and he needs his best friend Sully. Best friend slash fake dad. Hey, a little more light, Sully. Yeah, I want to look at this fucking creepy laboratory. Show me it to me. Hmm. Ooh. Seems to be an alchemist lab. Hey, you know, an alchemist lab. Wait a second. Does this place remind you of anything? Yeah. Marlowe's creepy hideout, now that you mention it. Sully. Sully, this is John Dee's lab. All the way out here? In France? Well, he must have traced the clues back to the Crusades, just like Lawrence did. Good old John Dee. Look at this. Huh. Sabian script again. But what are these symbols? Looks like he was trying to work something out. 
There's some sort well, what of do all alchemists try to figure out? How to make gold from poop? Think you can Did you make gold from? I'll try. It's not poop. That's what I said. Guy from Sandman? <laughs> That's the one. The altar guards the entrance Gold to the from... Huh. Well, he Top, did use magic copper. to conjure spirits. Uh, uh, lead. Or the altar lead into gold. I got it. Oh. Or you make that little red thing and then your brother turns into a robot and you lose your arm and your leg. And also a girl and a dog become friends. That's also alchemists. By friends, you mean... <laughs> they join forces. <laughs> I don't think anyone in the... Chad is a huge FMA fan, so I didn't make anyone upset, hopefully. <laughs> what? Straw? That's not even metal. I thought that was the little fucking Rumpelstiltskin. He's an alchemist? Also the Hungarian folk tale. The devil. Oh yeah, God! Uh, one night we're just gonna stream some Hungarian folk tales together. We're gonna do a Hungarian folk tale watching night, like a Wednesday or something. Like a Wednesday. A random day of the week. We're, I'm gonna just stream some Hungarian folk tales on YouTube. We're not busy on Wednesdays. So. All right. Well, we can do it after horses. A late night party. Shoe streams on Thursdays. All right, Tuesday. T Tuesday is Hungarian folk tale night. All right. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's alchemists. So maybe we'll find a, a furry in here. All right, let's climb down to the creepy furry pit. Oh man, Hungarian folklore is weird as hell, and there's so there's like a hundred oh, here we go. Um, like videos on YouTube. They're all these little like two to eight minute animations. They're all animations too. They're super ah, super weird and cute, and days, really not even like animatics, but man. true animations. Some of them are very, very cheap, but they're still really neat. I've talked about them before, I know, but yeah, I'll, uh, I actually want to share them with you guys because they're pretty fantastic. And they're part of my culture. As a redneck Hungarian. Anyway, check out these fucking caves. Pretty cool. I like the heat effect of the torch. Whoa. Looks like they really wanted to keep something out. Or in. Or in. Yeah, give me a hand. <laughs> <with this. laughs> Go ahead, Sully. You're my doorman. I got it. There you go. Ah, uh, yeah. Love me this puzzle. Looks like the family crypt. Your pal Godfrey must be down here then, huh? With any luck. If he knew anything about the Atlantis of the Sands, he took it with him to the grave. So let's find the grave. Exactly. Um, I forgot to ask, by the way, but uh, it looks like he was trying. How's the game audio tonight? I was messing with it a little bit the other night, or last week rather. Um, I just want to make sure that you can hear both the game and me. Let's see, all right, yep, this is the puzzle that I gotta actually use some brain for here. All right, let's see. We know the answer for one of them is the burb. Which is this one here. So the idea behind this puzzle is pretty cool. Um, all the symbols on the wall have little uh, tiles in front of them. Which if you stand at it at, at a normal angle like, like, like right now, you don't see anything. But if you stand on the tiles next to it, whatever that tile is made out of, the reflection only lights up if you're standing on the square, which I think is just super cool. Um, those ancient crusaders, man, they love their weird puzzles. Anyways, so the idea is you look at the symbol, and then you need to figure out the symbols that are around it and which angle. So this, what is this? Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a cock, some kind of a bird. And uh, it's surrounded by three symbols. You got DNA. You got a ca elephant camel. How about pie? AT AT from Star Wars. No, because a pie doesn't have a little wiener. So this one has a wiener, so I'm gonna, it's an AT AT. If it's an AT AT, that's the head. Right. Well, a head wiener. I mean, but you know, same thing. Because Imperials are dickheads. Imperials <laughs> are dickheads. Thank you for making the joke that I was too stupid for. And we got an eight. <laughs> 
<laughs> so anyways, uh, you combine that with the sketch in Drake's book and you kind of understand how the puzzle works. Um, so the first one is a freebie. Now, the fun part is just finding that is, an, is only part of the battle. Then you have this weird-ass contraption that some crusader was really bored with Medieval and invented. <laughs> Pretty elaborate. Yeah. So you have to turn... Seem to be in any of these crypts. Symbol. Uh, now, they would have hidden his tomb. I want to talk Looking over around. the plot here. And then activate the uh, this puzzle to make it line up. So we know we need a 8, a DNA, and an ATAT. -AT. And we stick the bird there. And that's one piece of the puzzle. So yeah, this is a, this is a very neat puzzle in my opinion. It's it's not it's not ridiculously hard. Um, and in the concept of it is pretty neat even if it's not the hardest puzzle in the world. So we got a uh, weirdly onion butt lion. Why is his butt so plump like an onion? Plump like an onion. Well look, it's like onion shaped. Are you into ogres now? I am into ogres. Layers. All right, this one's got a crooked wiener on a chair. An uh, unknown. ATAT. -AT. What? Two crooked wieners on a chair? All right. Two crooked wieners on a chair, an unknown, and an ATAT. -AT. Let's go. You went backwards with those last two. It doesn't matter. I'll remember it. Well, it doesn't matter which, like, the actual position. You just need to know which one's next to which. Um, so we need to switch it to... Oops. Switch it to the onion lion. There we go. And now let's find I see. unknown. I see an unknown right there. Um, where's another unknown right there? No, that can't be right. Uh, Why don't you look for the two? The two wieners. Hey, there we go. It's called chair with a crooked wiener, sir. You have to use the right term. All right, so that one's good. The other neat thing about this puzzle is it doesn't give you any kind of confirmation with each part. You have to get all four of them before it does anything. All right, uh, next we get um, book. Book. Go back at the book. All right, we know that the horse goes there. To the bird so two over one up from the bird <gasps> which is funny because that's the way a knight moves on the chess piece on the chess piece on the chess piece you got it on the chess board they move in l's that's my favorite chess character all right so are you sure it's not the queen oh the queen is my second favorite so the way this puzzle works is um the, to solve the last one, you know where the horse goes, so you know what the symbols are around the horse. And if you come over here, you can see that this, what, whatever this mysterious one is that you can't read, it has four symbols around it, whereas where we put the horse only has three symbols around it. So you can infer that this last one must be that goat thing. And goat thing is surrounded by moon, pitchfork, eight, and unknown. Okay, let's find that. Get on the puzzle. Um, what animal are you? Let's see. It's like a. Move the directions. It's like a. It's like a goat with a really deep chest. Or is it a cow? I don't know. Um, let's see. We're looking for a moon. There's the moon right there. Pitchfork. Eight and yeah, there we go. Boom. Got it. Magic puzzle sure. stuff. Mm. Looks inviting. Let's see. Do, 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 do. What? This is a terrible door. Watch yourself. Be very short. I guess yeah. Back then, people were very short because they didn't have milk. Lord Godfrey, I presume. The one and only. Lord Godfrey. This always <laughs> confuses shit out of me. This is it. The way he's posed on his uh on his coffin there. On his side. Really neat. Look, it's some sort of amulet. We're not gonna talk about the skeleton. Something written here. <sighs> gonna do this right on top of Lancelot, huh? Uh-huh. Where else would we do it? It's in Sabine's script. Oh. 
Well, that'd be from ancient Yemen, all right. Yeah, exactly where Francis Drake would have landed back in the 16th century. Could be the name of a city? Yeah, from 3,000 years ago. Without the rest of that inscription, we still don't know where to look. Well, let's hope the other half is in Syria. Yeah, and the Cutter and Chloe can find it. Ta-ta. <clears throat> I wouldn't recommend that. I never saw this coming. Shit. Nice work, gentlemen. Harris, please relieve Mr. Drake of the artifact. Yeah, Harris. Come get it. <laughs> now it's hardly worth dying over, is it? Your friend doesn't think so. Come on, Nate. What is that? What the hell? Stay in the light. Get it. Quickly. Heartless. Your torch seems to be dying out. Good luck with that. God, what a dick. Right? Fast. Stay close. So, uh, yeah, if you guys haven't uh, figured it out yet, slight uh, trigger Watch warning if you don't out. like spiders, I guess. We gotta find a way Which out. I think is just Ember. Wait, up there. Th these would fall into the category of spiders that I also do not care for. That don't leave me, jeez, Sully, come on. I don't even think Square was an option on on uh, Brutal. Give me a boost. They, I don't think it ever told you to do that. I guess if the spiders get you on brutal mode, you're just dead. Anyway, uh, yeah, the spiders don't like light, and otherwise, um, they will eat your face off. So, uh, kind of run like babies. Jesus Christ, they're coming from everywhere! Because what else would the Crusader use as his watchdog, I guess? Well, we Come on, Sally, go! Drake, you suck! Get up! Oh god, they're coming through the ceiling! Otter, I know they're scary, but don't whine. Ow, ow, fuck. I just love scenes where I have to run into the camera, away from danger. Sully, how are you so much faster than me? God! You like spiders even less than I do, I guess. Get it off! Take it off! All right, you're clear. Huh? Yeah. Me. Turn around. Are oh, you good? Oh. You okay? Best friends for life. Yeah, I think so. All right, let's not go back in there. I think that's a good idea. Okay. No more spiders, please. All right. Okay. Uh, obviously, the uh, spiders don't like coming through windows, which is why we're safe out here. Don't ask questions. They don't like the light. They, well, that's true. They actually do not like the light because the fire, as you saw, kept them away. Okay. We gotta find a way out of here. What did I say this guy looked like? Ah, damn it. It's no good. All right. Looks like someone different to me now, though. Can't put my finger on what he, who he, looks like. We Belmont. It does not look like We Belmont, or maybe he does. Actually, I guess no one knows what We Belmont looks like. Oh, it's David Bowie again. Um. Oh, I found the way across, Sully. Nate, put your gun away. It's hard to parkour with that. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Things gonna go. Oh god. 
It's fine. Everything's fine. Nothing is fine. Hey, that'll work. Yeah. Oh. Just yeah. like I planned. Now there's uh there's treasure over there. Oh, Actually, let's go over there and look because I want to see stuff. Fall through. <laughs> I like looking at the architecture. The designers put a lot of work into the chateau. Oh, whoa. Okay. I love the bits that have all the missing ceiling parts so you get all the natural light in. Which is a handy explanation for how the hell you can see things inside of a 800 year old castle. Empty those cans. Every last drop. So these fuckers are fuckers. Are because of course what else would they do to an ancient Burn chateau in the middle of oh, no. France? Burn it down. Because again, assholes. I feel like Talbot would do this even if we weren't in here. Because he just seems angry at the world. He did not have a good childhood. Oof! What, am I playing on brutal mode again? Jesus. Yeah, this part probably took me uh, 12 or 13 tries, just this very first part here. Because as you can see, uh, there's no other option. You can see the guy down there with the gasoline. Uh, there's no other option except to do this first part by hanging. And in brutal mode, again, they kill you in like one or two bullets. Uh, the trick I think I, I finally learned was just to be patient and let Sully do all the work. Even if he's slow at it. This is one of those parts where they actually let him get some kills. Well, now that's only one guy, I might not die as fast. But the whole time, you are also on a timer. Because remember, this whole place is on fire. And, uh... At one point, you will eventually just be consumed with the fire. With fire. You're a dick. Ow, dick knocker. All right, punch him. Pun punch him in the face. Yes, fight skills. Fight skills. Fight skills. Oh, I love this one. Pull the pin on his grenade. That was really awkward, yeah. I'm coming, Sully, I'm coming. Um, 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 what the fuck? Yeah, there we go. Maybe there's a triangle somewhere. Come on, old man. Got a lot of pain ahead of us still. Yeah, I see you fuckers up there waiting to spawn. Oof. Did someone from behind me shoot me? At least it was a checkpoint. The only person behind me is Sully. Sully, did you shoot me? Oh no, it's the fire. The fire is shooting me. With fire. Yeah. Oh, is he dead? Nope. <laughs> oh, he's dead now, I guess, yes. Oh, there's a grenade sitting on the fire. I'm full of grenades already. Come on, go, go, go. Oh shit. More fire. That's no good. And wood. This is, yeah, I'm tr I'm trying to imagine how fucking dry ass this wood is. Um, I thought we go through a wall here. Sully. Oh shit! Dick. This way. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Grab the Uzi. Come on. Gotta get the hell out. Okay. Trying to remember what all the upcoming fights are because there's a lot of very douchey. Run into a room while it's on fire and get shot. All right, Nate. Yeah, I'm okay. Meet you on the other side. Great. Uh, yeah, right I gotta parkour my way over there. Watch your step. Jump up, jump up, jump up, jump up. I see where to go. I know the game's not ready for me to be ready, but I'm ready. Okay. The very first time I played this game, uh, even on like normal difficulty, I died so many times in the chateau. Because as you can see, the whole thing is definitely on a timer. I, I'd say invisible timer, just because there's not an actual timer on screen. But you can see the fire spreading 
as you're playing. Um, so it's a semi-visible timer, I guess. So yeah, if you, if you take too long, it, you really just will die in the fire. Which is fun. Anyway, a big fucker shows up here, but this is why I always have a shotgun. So I can just do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you try and uh, have to get into a full fist fight with him, it's very painful and takes a long time. And uh, usually you'll get shot to death. By these two fuckers down here. You know what? I have grenades. Which I don't know how to use because different controls. There we go. I threw it into the tree. Show yourself, asshole. Fuck. Oh, you know what? Fine. Get the pistol. Invisible timer. Come on. I don't want to go down there until at least one of them is dead. Can I not shoot him through the tree? Fuck it. Go. Down here. We're almost out. Head for the door. There. Where's the other guy? Oh. oh god, I'm on fire. No, no, no! Son of a bitch! I'm working on it. Does this really come through the front door or Oh no, this is where they ran they threw they threw some more fire in and then ran away because they're assholes. Which I think we've already established, but it's good to have that confirmed. I think there's also a douchebag guy who runs up to you when you come down here, maybe? No? Okay. Wait! Up here! There's the door! Oh, there goes the door. Over um. No. No, 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 no! Shit! Fine, it's just a wooden staircase inside of a column of fiery death. Go! I died here about 15 times too. Because you're coming up the stairs here. Your foot gets stuck like an asshole. And then these guys show up. And uh, I had like five ammo last time. So, they and again, they kill you in like two shots. So, yeah, that was very unfair. I want the shotgun. There we go. Go, go, go. Do I lose all my guns? Um, oh, right there. Go. Oh. Shit. Shit! 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 Sully! Little help! Help me, old man. That's my buddy. Come on up here. God damn it. One of these days I'm gonna get to go first. And you're gonna have to deal with the parkour. Sully! He's dealing with the parkour now. Sully, hang on! I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Come on, fake dad. Thank you, fake dad. God damn it, fake dad. I mean, technically that was Drake's fault. He definitely <laughs> grabbed on. Yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> uh, Alright. Um, drop down? Yeah, drop down. There's a room full of death ahead. I know, this whole... That's a tub! Enjoy your grenade, dick dick. Wait, I have a shotgun. So I'm gonna punch a guy to death, I guess. Uh. <laughs> Come on, fight me like a man. Fight me like a man! And eat a dick. Oh shit, that's a big man. Ow. Oh wait, that's not a big man. Fuck you. I just shot him, unloaded my gun, and then reloaded it. Oh, I love this game. <laughs> but yes, you're right. You could not push a big man away. Where are you going? Thanks. <laughs> oh, God. This is why I like playing on crushing instead of brutal. I actually get to go do get to do cool Drake stuff that you can't normally do on brutal because they kill you in two hits. Go, go, go. All right. We're almost out. This mansion only has about, like, seven stories. We gotta be close to the top by now. 
fine. Just jump. Sully. Sully. Come on, Sully. Go, Sully. Come on, Sully. Yep, use those calloused fingers for something here. Ah, there we go. We're on the roof. We're safe. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Oh, fuck. Switch guns. Thank you. Oh, wait, we don't need any guns. I thought there were some guys on the roof for some reason. Oh. Not too many deaths. Yeah, that's, that's better than I expected, to be honest. So many times. I mean, I expected to. I fully expected to. But that was rough on Brutal, yeah. I really love this whole chapter, though, so... You alright? It's funny that crushing is now easy. Here, just give me a sec. You always seem to forget. I got 25 years on you. Come on, Sully. You're strong as an ox. Anyway, what's the hurry? Oh, Nate, you're in denial. in that. It almost were. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm losing the plot here. Remind me again why we're doing this? No, 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 no. If you're gearing up for one of your I'm too old for this speeches, spare me. Nate, these guys are playing for keeps. Yeah, so? What, you're just gonna roll over for Nobody's cut. talking about rolling over. Then quit acting like you're ready to lay down and die, all right? Listen, kid. I've had you back for 20 years. I'm not going anywhere. Obviously. I just want to make sure we're doing to your this fake for the right drink. reasons. You got your pride all tangled up in this thing. It's making you reckless. I taught you better than that. You're gonna get yourself killed. Oh, damn. <laughs> Hell. Probably get us all killed. Oh, no. What? Cutter and Chloe. Sully, if we were followed... Oh, shit. Chances are they were, too. We gotta warn them. Yeah, and get to Syria fast. <laughs> sure hope you remember where we left the car, because I am completely turned around.